What kind of mold release spray can you find or make from items around the home? There are actually quite a few options. The right mold release spray will really depend on the application that you're using it for. Let's talk about some of the different mold release spray options you can use for casting concrete. Ideally, a mold release spray that's purpose made for the application, that's what you want to use. But if you don't have any of that or you need a replacement, there are some things that you might be able to use from around your house. I mean, the bottle looks kind of similar. Does that mean this should be good to use? You could use something like WD-40 or in fact, WD-40 is a mold release spray. I've seen that used before. I would say it's not ideal. The smell alone would deter me from using this product as a mold release, but if you were in a pinch and you needed something, you could probably use WD-40. I would not attempt to use WD-40 if you're going to cast silicone into silicone or urethane into urethane. It would not be suitable for that application. Olive oil is another option that you could use for a mold release. It's thick, which is good, but it's not ideal because it's going to leave an oily residual on your mold. Also, your spouse is gonna get mad at you that you have their olive oil in the garage. If I was in a pinch, I would use olive oil or another thick, cooking oil, but only if I was in a pinch. If you do use oil for your mold release, be sure to remove any excess oil because you're going to have a lot of pooling oil inside of the mold and that's no good. Another at home option for mold release spray or making your own mold release is 99% isopropyl alcohol mixed with a dishwashing liquid detergent of some kind. What you want to use is two parts isopropyl alcohol to one part dishwashing detergent. Mix them together in a spray bottle and then apply to your mold. Be sure to wipe off any excess. Now there will be a little excess at first, but that's what the isopropyl alcohol is for because it will evaporate very quickly, leaving a thin film of detergent covering your entire mold. You'd be better off to go with an inferior release agent as opposed to no release agent at all. One of the best release agents that I've used for casting concrete is beeswax. One of the problems with casting concrete is that concrete's porous and when you pour your molding rubber onto it, it kind of absorbs right into the concrete and that's a problem because you're never going to demold that. The wax creates a layer in between your concrete and whatever you're going to be molding that concrete with and it doesn't allow water to absorb into your concrete. That's very important. Now applying wax like this is a little bit difficult. It's not really going to apply very evenly. So what I would normally do, apply a little bit of heat, works really quick. And now you can apply that to your mold. It would be helpful to use a heavy brush to help apply the wax to the mold. Once you've applied the wax to the mold, you might notice there's very small ridges. You could see those in your finished product. So again, I take a little bit of heat and it helps to get rid of any ridges that might be left from the wax. Beeswax is the best mold release that I've used from items that I had around the home. And what you see here, I've been using for 12 years or maybe even more than that. And I do an awful lot of concrete casting and I still have most of this this product left here. So it's basically going to last you forever if you pick up some beeswax and use that as your mold release, or at least use that as one of your layers of mold release. If I'm molding stuff that's really difficult to demold, I might use the wax, but then also use a mold release spray on top of that. Apply our mold release spray and we're ready to pour concrete. <laughs> 